there is one question that every weeb wants answered. What happens should you mix waifus and Max? Well, you'll get New Genesis Evangelion, but that's beside the point since we're not talking about anime with boobalicious girls and Max. We're talking Yu-Gi-Oh, damn it! And you'll get Sky Strikers. Sky Strikers were introduced in Dark Savers back in May 2018. They instantaneously became a competitive hit as quickly as the deck has become meta, so did the engine. Its consistency boost and link spamming capabilities went unparalleled and are still amazing. Starting with the January 1st 2019 ban list, the engine changed its focus from link spamming to a bit more control, still retaining the link capabilities and the consistency. The engine's purpose is to provide easily accessible link material in the form of tokens and to boost the deck's consistency. Additionally, depending on the card choices, the engine can also provide additional support. In 2018, at the peak of its popularity, the engine's build was rather simple. Triple engage, triple drones, one Kagari. However, starting with January 2019, when the balance limited drones to one, the build had to change. Therefore, the lacking two copies of drones were swapped for two different Sky Striker spells. Most of the time, it would be a combination of afterburners, jamming waves, or widow anchors. The engine retained the link summon capabilities and consistency while gaining effect negation and spot removal, making it much more versatile. The sheer versatility the engine can provide is one of its best selling points. It provides consistency boost, field, clearance, spot removal, negation, and of course, it's a good starting engine for high rating link summons. Well, since all cards in the engine require the player to not control any monsters in the main monster zones, the engine can be hindered by something as simple as a kaiju, that being one of the biggest cons when it comes to this set of cards. The sheer flexibility and consistency of this engine make it almost universal in usage. Personally, I strongly advise using it an attack that utilizes a fair amount of spells, so the additional effects of the spell cards can be used. Also, the engine is pretty good in special summoning level 1 monsters, giving it a natural combination with War Arf Dao, a spell card that can search any level 1 monster in the game. And that would be it. I have to say, now I feel empowered. Anyway, if you like this video, leave a comment or a like. It really helps to get feedback regarding content. Thanks for watching, and see you tomorrow on Twitch for some more post apocalyptic fun.